So I was playing the uh, shapeshifter here on normal, going for four rings. So generally what I want to do is uh, rush the greenhouse, so using moonlight to just stay alive. So this is, uh, this is us getting through floor two. We're already on floor three. Floor two. Okay. So here we are, we're still looking for the greenhouse, and that's the hedge maze, so we're not going there. Oh, so we found another one. This is the greenhouse. So here we are, uh, in moonlight in the greenhouse, and we found a snake here, which is good. A uh, sand snake, which are worth tons of XP. So we're going to get tons of XP there. So we're going to try to clear as much as we can until daytime. And there's the uh, boss in the southern edge there. So here comes daytime. Yep. So now we're gonna want to try to set ourselves up to uh, fight him while he's in the water and we're not. And there, so we get to the edge here. We're gonna check our potions. And, uh, nothing useful here. So it's just hope for the best. Bash into him. Hope for the best. And we got him pretty easily. So we're leveling up strength a whole bunch now. One point intelligence. Not sure if that's necessary. Got the I think that was the ice resistance ring. So let's see, we're going to continue on, turn to a human, and now we're going to race to floor 6 to start trying to find other branches. So we're on floor 5 already, so that's a good start. We got through floor 4 very quickly. Okay. There's a way down, checking to see if we can get in that chest, because I'm not sure if we picked up the key or not. We did not. Okay, so this is a branch here. Which one? It's the Gorgon. Uh, the gallery. She's right down, right at the beginning here. So we don't really have any tools to help us. But I decided to just risk it and try to take her down regardless. Just uh, try to get the, the levels to to carry us. I guess the clock is kind of blocking it, but uh, the only spell we have is heal. It's the starting spell. Should probably move that in the future, but... So I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to engage her in the dark. Um, so I'm trying to get a good angle here to, to shoot her a couple times. See, I don't really know where to click. I think I'm supposed to click slightly below the lights. So I think I don't click at the right spot here. <laughs> there I did, but I think it missed. Let's see. Yeah, because you can see this. Looks like you need to click just below the red lights. I'm actually not 100 percent sure. But uh, things are going well with the gun so far. We're missing everything. And now she's turned us to stone. Finally hit her. She uh, blasts us with her blast. I think we popped a heal there. <clears throat> and now we're just trying to man mode her in the dark. I don't know if she can blast you in the dark. I'm not sure. I think she can, and she didn't. Uh, which is good, because it would have came very close to killing us. If not killed us. Alright, well, we just gotta clean out the snakes while healing a little. And we're good. Pretty good fight. Um, we got the poison attack. Uh, the one that adds poison to your attacks, which is pretty good, I think. And here we go, off to the library, trying to hunt down the princess. So, pretty uh, good pace so far. Very good pace. Bash our face through some golems, pick up and rage here, which is pretty nice. Uh, we'll blink, I believe, or levitate. We can grab blink here, right? Yeah, we can grab blink. Okay. So now we're kind of sticky situation, stuck in between a golem and a golem lord. So we decided to blink away here, I believe. Because. I think they buffed the golems, and that red golem buffed is kind of a problem. So I blink downwards, land right next to the golem answer, which is great. And then we 1v1 this guy without too much problems. Pretty scary there, though. So 
All right, continuing on, we're looking for the princess. She's usually always in the center, so I probably kind of took a wrong turn here. Could have just went backtracked a little and then went to where I believe she is. Instead, I'm going around, but I'm picking up spells, I guess. I'm going to pick up Levitate here, just to see. Might help me against the vampire fight in the future. We level 2 um, in Rage. We level up our heal. So I'm kind of glad I got that one point of intelligence, actually. I think it's good. Increase the uh, mana pool a little and our chances to cast these spells. So when I'm turning the lights off, I'm going to find the uh, turn the lights off find the princess and turn into a vampire and try to take her down again we don't have any potions to help us but we got levels so what i'm trying to do here is wait until i turn into a vampire and just before turning into a vampire i'm going to be casting enrage 2 which will make us very powerful and that should be enough to take her out here we go cast enrage i cast it a little too soon um but that's all right it uh, actually it was just fine. It lasted through the whole fight. You can see I'm hitting her in a truck, like a truck. I killed her in four hits. Got the ring. I didn't see what it was, but at this point we don't really pay attention to the rings. We just go, go, go. So there you go. We're a vampire now. We just need to get out of here. Pretty short path. Then done. So gallery and library done at great speed. So now we're looking for one more, um, one more ring. And it's we're six minutes in, so this, as you can see, this run could potentially be like eight minutes if everything goes perfectly. But well, we'll see what the end of this run because uh, the last ring is tricky. Didn't really go great. So we're finding a few humans here, getting beat up pretty hard, and there's sunlight kind of creeping on us, but we're fine. Healed up. Okay, so there is the rafters. Rafters are risky. Um, I don't have much experience with it. The exit's right there. Well, to the next rafter floor, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna take it. And here, I believe we're gonna turn to a bat. And we'll go look for the exit. I don't know why. You'll see. But I decided to not to, like. I went to the workshop, and I ended up not doing it. Um, I think, oh, it's because I couldn't turn into a human. I did have Blink. Um, but I couldn't turn into a human. So, yeah, things don't go very well here. So there's a few golems here, and golems are not great for vampires because they don't bleed. So fight these two golems here and get super low, and now I'm like, well, I didn't have the ability to turn into a human. I tried to turn into a human here, and I didn't, and I failed it. And the other potion was a teleport or soul elixir. So I could have turned into a human there, I think, because it's probably soul elixir. Um, but I got. And I kind of. I think I kind of forgot that I had the blink spell. So I could have got that ring right there, I think, if I turned into a human and healed up and just went for it. I think I would have been fine. So there I jump off the edge just to get the hell the heck out of there. So now I'm like, well, screw it. Let's go find the graveyard. But if I, like, that would have been a huge improvement on my time to get that ring right there. Like, would have got nine minutes probably if I got, if I uh, turned into a human. Yeah. But anyways, ifs, buts, whatever. Now we're getting smashed by the, uh, the light here. I get scared here, as I should. And I turn to a bat yet again just to get through the sunlight and to regenerate a little health. Bat potion coming in pretty clutch this run. Which is kind of interesting. We do have a key, so we open that chest. Get hit by that mushroom. Luckily, it doesn't do much damage. We're just exploring, looking for that last up into this thing. Just scary. It almost takes us down here. Pretty close. <laughs> but we got a bunch of blood for it. I missed one pile of blood over there. So now I'm worried about blood. Because the graveyard is not much blood at the beginning. We found the graveyard at a pretty good time. Somewhat. We scored most of the floor, but. But a decent time. We're doing okay. But we're very worried about our health here as a vampire. We want to go through this whole place as a vampire. So now I'm kind of thinking about looking for something to feast upon, but I decide against it. As long as I get into the mausoleum, mausoleum I'll probably find something really easy. To drain their life, but I gotta get there. I'm getting 
getting jumped by these skeletons which don't have blood. So here we go, like killing them out here. Alright, there we go. Healed back up. And the exit to the next floor is right there, which is great. Alright, so we just speed right into the big room. I'm gonna clear out all the non vampires. And there's the boss, the vampire boss. Storgi or something like that. Kinda going assessing my potions, seeing what I got. <clears throat> this fight doesn't go very well either. Well, spoilers. <laughs> Here we go. Thinking about how to approach this. I have one potion, which could be either Sunlight, Giant, or whatever the other one is. But Sunlight or Giant would be super good. And, uh, yeah. We kill this thing here. Ooh. I'm looking for loot across the, uh, what loot I need as well. So I'm going to pick up some gear. Picked up the sword there. And, uh, over here I believe there's some leggings. So turn to a human. Uh, let's learn haste there. No, cancel. Kind of an oopsies, but I heal up. I was hoping that vampire wouldn't see me right away, but he did. He starts spawning vampires. We pick up the gear. You know, go to our little island. Cast levitate. It's very annoying when there's a brawler at the edge there. Super annoying. Because he th keeps throwing you back. So he's spawning vampires on me. He spawns uh, two elites. No, I don't know what to call but the strong ones. We're trying to kill that brawler on the edge there. Are we levitating? Yeah, we're levitating right now. So we're just kind of chilling, but at the same time, we're not having a good time here. Going up. Vampire there beats us, takes a good sh chunk out of our health. I'm assessing my potions. I just clicked this, hoping it's celestial. Oh yeah, it is big. Okay, it is big. So that's good. So now we have the potential to deal a lot of damage, but this brawler is a huge pain in the arse. So now we start fighting the boss. We're super low. We. Uh, Decide to heal here, I believe. He's almost dead. We poisoned him too, and then we went back in for the kill. Just barely got him. Pretty close fight. Um, it went pretty horribly, but I mean, it didn't go. We didn't get unlucky, luck or anything. You just that was the course of action we chose to take, and it was pretty tough. Now we just need to get the heck out of here. We know where the where the exit is, the final exit. We just got to get there. So cruising along. There we go. That's it. Let's hurry up, get through the text, forgive him, and star time. That's it. Pretty good run. Lots of room for improvement, obviously. But uh, we did what we could. Thanks for